Okay, we're popping through here. It's harvest time for the grapes. So we're harvesting. Got the, uh, actually doing pretty good with these so far, so I'm just trying to <laughs> stick them over here. We got the uh, white grapes all harvested here, so I got those taken care of. So it's a separate harvester. Got all the red grapes up to here and over here. I was trying to use our regular our, uh, um, tractor here, but a little bit, a little bit hard to climb up that hill with it. It's a little bit too less power, horsepower. So we got a uh, fertilizing contract we're gonna do. I was using the tractor off of that. <laughs> so uh, got a few more contracts going on. Got taken care of as well. Um, obviously making some money off of those. Which is good because we needed it to lease these vehicles. So these are what, 200 and some thousand dollar vehicles each. Leasing at $12,000. <laughs> Jeez. So 25000 it's 12,000 some change, so almost $25,000 just for leasing these things for this little bit of time. So as long as we make more than twenty-five grand on these, we'll make our money back. <laughs> it's like, ooh, that's going to hook a little bit. But it's okay. Now we, we'll get these harvested, and then we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I almost forgot we got to weed that over there. The canola field. So we got to take care of that, so that'll be fine. We'll take care of that noise. And then... uh. I still think that's awesome. Awesome the way the it just shifts it to make it level. Is the, the wheels? It's so cool. The suspension of me. <laughs> it's so cool. That's probably why I think it's two hundred some thousand dollars, quarter of a million dollars for this thing. But uh, I don't. I'm gonna take a look at the pricing on the uh, plows and everything. So I really don't know if we're gonna plow this all out. I mean, we're getting decent crop out of it as it is. I mean, yeah, it would probably get better if we do all that stuff. But hey, you know, we fertilize, lime it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We should be able to be something. Plus, we got canola over there. And then the contracts I was doing did some uh, sorghum, wheat, barley. I think, I don't think there's wheat, actually. It was barley. And some canola. So I got some canola oil that was produced it's from the extra canola we got. I mean, yeah, we could sell it off directly. But if we make something out of it, usually get a better price. So that's always a good thing. Just take a little bit and make a little bit. <laughs> It's got a nice turn ratio too. It's pretty tight. Guess you had to have to have it for a, uh, oops, for a vineyard, a vineyard, a vineyard. <laughs> Yo, your cousin Vinny? <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was weird. The two Utes. <laughs> Anybody remember that movie? Ha! <laughs> it's funny. It's great. <laughs> see, these grapes aren't so bad. You can see. Boom. Oh, look, a purple. Okay. The other side, they're white grapes. They blend in with the. Uh, stinking leaves I couldn't tell I was like am I on the right is this line no wait oh it's like these you can tell other ones were really hard to see because they're well they're the green color so it's funny they call them white grapes and red grapes and they're purple and green <laughs> whatever but uh yeah we got the white grapes going uh let's take a look here the productions so we got those going wow we got a good amount of like I said I got a good amount of Grapes there, 21,000 liters. Well, more than that because we already got some wine coming out. Sweet. Oh, yeah, great production waste. We can get rid of that too. But yeah, so the you know, the wine, let's take a look at the wines. The, the vinos that we're going to be selling are barreled. Let's get to the barrel wines. Come on, baby. Where you at? Sip on some wine. So great production waste, actually. That's not two hundred some dollar. All right, so we got red and white. Ooh, white. There's a lot more. Four thousand max there. Forty-five. Oh, I guess this just depends on the time of year. So we're in September, so yeah, that's the peak time for the white wine. So once we get that, and yeah, then beginning of the year. Okay, okay. So cool. So yeah, once we get some wine, man, we can start selling the white wine real quick. We can even hold off on the. The red wine for like three, four months. It depends. We'll see. This is the one thing I wish we could actually have a helper on. Throw a helper on a harvester. Really cool. Or a grape vine. That'd be cool. Boop. 
But yeah, we'll get these grapes taken care of. We'll get the wine made, get them sold, and then, uh... Heck, we'll get enough out of that. We should be able to get some pretty decent money for, uh... <sighs> finally get this, this loan taken care of better. I think right now we're still at $3.2 million. Oof. I'll pay some of it off with what's left over for the day, and of course we got a fertilizer contract still to go. So some of these things we'll take care of still yet. That's not an issue on that level, but... Yeah, we gotta pay that bill down. I guess we got some milk from the cows still yet, too. We got little things here and there that we can work with. Uh, again, I probably should have waited to build up to this farm, but I wanted it. I wanted it pretty bad. We got it. But holy crap, it hurts my booty cheeks. <laughs> we'll get there. It's not that bad. And I'm over-exaggerating a little bit there. I mean, it's, but hey, you know what? We're getting some wine out of this, and this wine is actually grapes and everything that we're making here is something that they haven't had for a while because I mean you can still see all the other vineyards are still not up to par but whatever once we start getting some of this wine sold off they might go oh it might be worth doing it because now we have to there is quite a bit of work with these unfortunately but you know it's okay they're not huge vineyards that's nice but some of these are get pretty big and if we owned all of them on here, yeah, it might as well be having sugar cane, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is. Honk, honk. And we'll go ahead and finish these grapes up here. Um, like I said, we're just dropping them upstairs there to the, to the grape crushing wine making facility. <laughs> Red grapes are almost done, and the white grapes are completed. So once we get done with these, uh, we'll just have to wait a few months until we can go back and... Um, yeah, we might have a couple of months to just wait now. We'll, we'll try to get the white wine produced as fast as possible so we can get that out of there. Actually, you know what? I should probably turn the red wine off. Huh? I don't know. Whatever. we just sell it all right now. It's probably not a bad idea. Just so we can get this. Then we'll get, once we get the loan paid off, hopefully soon, we can actually focus on a little bit better scenarios there. But we're getting there. We're almost there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting these this harvested up. And uh, we'll see you all in a little bit. Alright, so we got things done here. As you can see, the fields on the right there, or our field on the right, I should say, got the weeded out. Yeah, got some wine. So we got the vino. Trying to get this white wine. Thankfully, it was covered overnight. So uh, we're in October now. It's completed. Red wine is as well. The red wine, we're gonna wait a month or two because it's only about half the price. Honestly, it sucks because we need the money right now, but. Uh, we're down to only ten thousand dollars a month now for the for the loan, which is really good. <laughs> I went went from thirteen to twelve, you know, down so now we're just over ten thousand, so the less and less we get, the better better we go. <laughs> but uh this trailer's a little heavy I guess, so I tried using the the rover or or uh land rover. Wait, is that what we have? Yeah, Land Rover. Jeez Louise, I thought I was saying something totally wrong to do. Now watch him get stuck here. Yay! <laughs> and unfortunately, I was just spinning out in the Land Rover. I guess this thing's a little heavier than it looks. Tractor's starting to do it too. Yeah, that's cool. I might just have to do a contract lease that and then once I use that tractor for hauling this. <laughs> At least I know it's not that I don't have enough horsepower, it's just it's lifting me up off the ground, apparently. Mm. But yeah, beautiful area, still. So wise and so wise. That smoke coming off the trailer, tractor. Should be some smoke coming off the tires. Bark, bark, bark! <laughs> Barking tires going to town, you know what I'm saying? But, uh,. Yeah, we'll get this sold. Uh, we got some uh, 
some bread and some um the other stuff that you caught on there. <laughs> the noodles. <laughs> the fresh pasta. <laughs> Surprised nobody has said anything told me, Dare it's not noodles. <laughs> Either way, whatever, it's funny. But, uh, yes, yeah, so this tractor will get us up here one day. I thought I had a different trailer on here, but it doesn't look like I have what I was looking for. But this one is the grab-and-go type thing. So it works. It's the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, IT runner stuff. So it works out pretty good. I actually really like the IT runner things. It's a great idea, especially get the truck. Get the truck, and you get about four or five of the container options. Shoot, just run up there, bam, grab one, go. Come back, drop it off, done. <laughs> it's very easy. One truck and a bunch of implements. It's pretty cool. Instead of one cup, and you know what I mean on that. Yeah, we'll see with that. <laughs> I really wish I could see some people run around here. That'd be kind of cool. But uh. Eh, it is what it is. It is what it is. So let's see what we get out of this hill. The Vino coming at you. Oh, come on, you can do it. Come on, buddy. Oh. All right, so that's not one to cooperate. Well, all right, so uh, give me a second, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, we did get ahead and just like we said we we're gonna do, went ahead and got some contracts, and boom. Using the vehicle from one of the contract. So, oh, pff, I think I know why I'm not getting it. I think I'm on the wrong implement. Let's try that. Yep, there it is. Okay, cool. Chug a chug chug. Let's see what we get it done. I'm not too happy. 65,000 is not a bad deal. Aww. Um, I just moved the other tractor down here. I'll just carry these boxes up there. They're literally going right up the road there. Uh, don't have enough eggs for more pasta, but uh, yeah, we'll just take. The oh shoot! Well, whatever. <laughs> I forgot they're gonna go into there anyway. So let's go ahead and drop these guys off, <laughs> and they'll go grab the bread, sell that off, and then uh, basically pay on the bill again. <laughs> I got some more contract. It's a couple contract or a couple of liming or uh, sorry fertilizing ones. And there's one for uh, harvesting. So we got a corn harvest, which is pretty cool. So we'll take care of that as well and be good to go. I'm going to dip back into between these little guys here. Just real quick. And go over. Whoa, it's swung out almost too wide. Yeah, beautiful morning. It's a beautiful morning. Hope everybody's doing well. It's been an interesting couple weeks here. Christmas right around the corner. Let me know if you have your Christmas stuff done yet. Did you get your Christmas shopping complete? I don't ever get it done until literally like the last minute. Like the last day or so. You know why? Because I can. <laughs> I usually just get gift cards most of the times. I know it might sound kind of off to some people, but my family get. You know, they get what they want. You get a little older, you start thinking about it. And like, you know, everybody can pretty much get what they want for some de to some degree. So mostly, especially family members, you know, my parents and, like, my uh, sister and, like, her, uh, my brother. And, you know, I'll get them gift cards. That'll give them some type of date night option. So that way they make them get out and do something, you know what I'm saying? Which is good for them. They all need date nights. Alright, I think we're getting all this goodies. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah.
one more box arena or container, whatever you want to call it. And again, I can go ahead and get the red wine and sell that too, but we're not going to get near as good a price. And it's not terrible. Let's see, it'll go up to about 4,000. A little over four, and we're at 28, so it'll be about a thousand more. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just wait because it's going to get a little bit better. But, yeah, we'll drop this off here, do these contracts, and move forward to the next one again. But, other than that, just moving on down. I mean, it's only 10,000 for the monthly bill now instead of what we're at 13 or 14, I think. I know we had 12 for the while, so another couple thousand. We're a couple thousand less than what we normally were. Or the, at least a couple thousand less than what we were paying for the the lease of that. Uh, wait, it's ours. <laughs> cool. Of of that uh, loan, so that's good. Get that thing under three million. <laughs> Sounds terrible. And keep moving forward. You know what I'm saying? You no know saying. But we got bread. We're gonna sell. We got. Pasta soul, got some more red wine coming up. Sugar beets are available too, so we can do some good contracts with sugar beets. Eesh. That's a lot. Tater sugar beets and sugar cane. Uh, which there's no sugar cane on this map, which is good. No sugar cane in this area. But I tell you what, that's a little crazy. Because uh, it's not the sweetest place. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what we're going to make off of this. And then we'll go ahead and call it a day on that level there. Um, well, I'm going to tinker around with some contracts. We're going to work on stuff and get it done, son. So we can do in the... Seasonal times of year, 24,000. Not bad. So, 124,000 right off of that. I can return this thing because we don't need any more. Yay. Then we get the tractor and everything else put back. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Um, as you can see, you know, contracts, we got these guys. We got, got some bailing ones. Problem with these, they're not so bad except for they're on hills. This thing just chugs trying to go up a hill. It's crazy. I see sugar beet. Um, let's see where's the big ones here. Oh, right there. Yeah, sugar beet, 16,000. Sugar beet, 11,000. <laughs> some weeding for really cheap. Anyway, we got what we got. We're going to go ahead and take care of these ones and get them done soon. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward on that level, and uh, we'll go ahead and take care of it. So I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, tractor back to where we got to go first. But yeah, we got some things sold off. Uh, moving forward with the day, got the fertilizer, or got the, uh, the grapes taken care of. Made some wine. We'll go through November, maybe even to up to December, till we get the red grapes, the, the red wine at the highest price. And we'll be able to go ahead and uh, sell that off. Oh, man. It's worth about another 100000 at the bill. So we're going to be down about three, just about $3 million, So we'll start dipping below that pretty quick here. Not going near as fast as I was hoping, but hey, we're getting there. <laughs> so it'll work out very well. But again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, say hello. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what's going on in your world. Hope you have a great day, morning, night, evening, whatever you got going on while you're watching. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate everybody. Don't run the trickling of the trees. <laughs> you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.